Hello guys, welcome to Rob with Tech. Uh, I'm making this video just to show you how to create a bootable ISO media from Open Media Vault. Text. This goes in hand to hand with the other video that I made to configure in the Open Media Vault. Uh, but I was seeing that I didn't include that video. I mean, there's a lot of tutorials online, but might as well add my own so I could attach it to the other video in the description. So here, I like to use Rufus. I'm gonna go to Portable Apps. It's portableapps.com. Here, just click Apps. And if you scroll down or you can do control F on your keyboard and search for Rufus and you can download it here uh, just download from portable apps and that will begin the download okay looks like that finished let me go ahead and run that so this is what you're gonna see the Rufus portable folder you go in there you're gonna run the Rufus portable you do yes for the prompt uh, it says you want to check for updates. I'm not going to check for updates right now. So this is what you're going to see on the options. So here you're going to select a device. Now keep in mind that whatever USB drive you select, that will get overrided. Everything that you have in there is going to be deleted. So just keep that in mind. Here I'm going to do um, the default option. This ISO is fine. You do select. So you select the ISO that you want to use. In this case, it was this one right here. Now here all the default options are good. So this is, uh, we have the media selected, the new volume, this is my USB, we have the ISO selected, uh, and then we're going to do start. Here, just uh, just keep in mind that, uh, that that default option, the ISO is fine. Mm -hmm. Download required, I'm just going to use yes so it can download the, the necessary files. It's downloading mm -hmm. some binary for the Rufus. Now here, it's going to prompt you, uh, if you want to proceed to destroy the data so I'm going to click yes now it's going to start creating the ISO file I mean the bootable USB so I might skip to this because it might take a little while uh, but basically it's going to go all the way until it finishes and then you can just click uh, close once it's ready and then you can just plug it into your computer and you're gonna do it depends on your computer you just search your system model your computer model on Google and put a search for boot key and by you finding that sometimes it's delete sometimes it's escape sometimes it's F8 so it really just depends on your computer uh, so just search for the boot key for your particular computer model and just put that uh, USB in and start the computer and start spamming that key and I'll be off with this tutorial. Uh, for now, I'll just let this finish so I can show you the end of the uh, of this process. All right, so this finished the process. You're gonna see it says ready, and now all you have to do is close and remove your USB drive. Again, this is Rob with Tech. Don't forget to subscribe and follow if you like this kind of stuff. Thank you very much.